hey what is up everybody my name is rahul and in this video we'll be looking at how we can build a port scanner from scratch so before i move on to showing you how you can build yourself one let's just see how we can run it and what to expect from it so this is a pretty basic port scanner so i'll be entering the host name along with what are the ports that need to be scanned and in a moment you will see that if there is no error it will show you the number of ports that are open and as you can see in our case 8080 is closed but 53 is open so let's just see how and how we created this as you can see i've used python 3 and a skp module now it expects us to enter the host name and the list of ports that it needs to scan before i go on to explain you the rest of the stuff it is important for you to understand that how a packet is framed and how you can make yourself one so i created this in a previous video that you can refer to that was the first python that was the first um, project that we made in the series so that in that uh, video i've explained you in much more detail that how you can create a packet for yourself so with that let us begin we just learned that it is expecting a host from us which is the domain name server that i just entered which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Now here what I'm trying to do is I am entering the ports from the u from the user and I'm converting them to a list of integers. Now you should know that whenever I use the input uh, method what it will do is it will accept it as a string but I want them to be as integers. So this is what I'm trying to do or accomplish using these three uh, lines. I'm com converting the strings into a list of integers that's it. Now here I've made it a bit more complex by adding this line but what exactly this is doing is this is checking if the IP address I'm, I have entered is a valid one. So what do I mean by that? So for example if I were to enter 123.123.1.1 .1 and if I were to enter port 53 and 8080 you will see that it won't work. The reason being that it is not a valid IP address so this is what the regular expression is trying to accomplish here so I'm sorry about that I should have imported re as well so let's just try to see it again let's enter the port name as 8888 and enter it as 53 you'll see that again it won't work this is because of this line so this is exactly what this trying this line is trying to do now this is a special method that we didn't discuss in the previous video which is the SR method. So what this means is S is for sending and R is for receiving. So what this is trying to do is this is trying to send the packet that we just um, made and then it will also receive the packet back from the machine or the host that we were trying to send our packet to. Now this is a SYN scan which is has been uh, specified by the flags is equal to S and the ports have been assigned to D port. So this is a complete packet which I as just said I have explained in the previous video you can go ahead and look at that as well it is being linked in the description of the video. Now it is said the verbose has been sent to 0 so there would be no extra information displayed and the timeout has been set to 2. So what this does is this entire line gives us two lists back so that I have sent uh, I have assigned ANS to 1 and unanswered as second so we know that it would answer it would return as two lists the first one would be the packets that were answered the second list would be the packet that were unanswered so the answered one will be set to ans and the unanswered packets will be uh, saved to a, uh, uans so we do not need the unanswered ones we only need the answered ones In the answered ones there would be two things the first one would be the received which would be the sent that we just will be the packets that we sent and the second would be the packets that were received after they were sent and mm, uh, sent by the machine back to us so what we are doing is we are we know that the ones that were answered back would be our answers to the ports that were opened so we know we'll have to do is what we have to do is we have to take that that we have to take the packet we have to take the tcp part of it and the d port which was the port that we just sent it so this is in general how we can create a port scanner now you can make it a pretty more advanced by adding icmp packets to see if the host is actually up before actually trying to you know scan the ports this would save a lot of time like nmap does you can also make a color output out of it 
so it's rest up to you how you can you know use your imagination to create one so thank you guys this is the video